Hey, yeah. I'm off to go camping. Someplace close, only 24 miles, roughly something like that. So I'm going to Santa Cruz Lakes. Um, but in fact, I'm going to the upper campground because the lower one's been closed for as long as I've lived here, I think. Um, they're still, still fixing it. No, I don't think they have the funding. So um, a lot of times I'll make, I used to make the mistake it's when I get up here uh, towards the church. Um, I used to go straight. And when you go straight, then that means you gotta go way around over by the lake and then through this little town. I forget the name of it. Um, but if you take a right up here, um, it's a lot closer. No, I gotta pay attention. Well, I am paying attention, but more attention. Happy trails. Okay, so here's where you turn right. If you go straight, then you're going the long way to the campgrounds. You're actually going to the, sorry, going to the lake. So this is the Chamayo Museum area and the restaurant and the church and blah, blah, blah. So then you take this all the way to the, nah, I forget the highway. But when I get there, I'll show you. Uh, it's a beautiful drive all the way, but there's a lot of idiots out here. Um, I had a guy that pulling a big black truck, pulling two big trailers behind him and pulled right out in front of me. So I didn't have to stop, but I lost my momentum. You know, I'm pulling a big, oil, or a big yellow and red camper. It's not like you can't see me. So anyway, that's my bitch of the day. So yeah, it's, it's beautiful in here. Okay, that's all you get for now. Okay, State Road 503 is the one you want to turn on. Go left. And then the campgrounds is this way. Not too far. Okay, watch out for this turn. It sneaks up on you. I mean, it's just boom. Come up out of the curb and here it is. Good, the gate's open. I've come here before too early. I'm thinking they don't open up until like May 15th or some later than you would think. Okay, the road's kind of crappy, but not bad. Okay, here we go, rock and roll. Hey, uh, well, I took a two hour nap. Here I am at Santa Cruz Campground. sites there. There's one here. I'm not sure how many they have. They got at least 20. Nobody. Zero. Hey, uh, okay, so, yeah, the, the river starts way up there and snakes through here, makes this bend through here, down in there. I'm not quite sure how far I've been. I've been quite a ways. Snakes through there, and then it dumps into the, the lake. Um, I've taken my raft to the 
end of it. And the dam is, the dam is right there, and it's full. They don't open up the lake until, it was that Thursday through Sunday. So there'll be people around tomorrow. That's why it's kind of a, a ghost town, a ghost camp. That's fine. Yeah, there was um, two young kids hiking here earlier, and then uh, an older lady and an older camper. When I first came through, she disappeared sometime. Well, I got here about checkout, so what better time to check in? So there's all kinds of things you can explore. Ah, sorry, wind. And I have said I just don't have oof today. Oh, why? Yeah, I've been out on all these, all these fingers out here. And then there's a <coughs> way over there on the other end. There's a trail that drops down, actually drops down to the lake. So I've done that too. Okay, that's how you get. Yeah, there's another angle of the, the lake. So I'm just hiking these little, I'm going to call them fingers. Um, this one I've been down as far as you could go. And then there, that one over there, you can see there's a sketchy looking edgy trail that goes down to there. And then, uh, you can't really see it, but way over there, there's a zip line that goes all the way down. And you can end up down in there or over there. Um, like I said, the the river pops out over there. Not a soul out there. <laughs> it's kind of weird that there's nobody at the lake. And there's nobody at the campsite. Just me. So I can party. I can drink one beer. Turn up loud music. That's great. I do have one beer though. Okay, that's all you get for now. Okay, I see my van and my camper right over there, Sloopy. Okay, that's all you get. Yeah, it really sucks. I can see the smoke. Wow, that's flickering. <laughs> Crazy. Um. <coughs> anyway, there's a fire that started um, Sunday, I believe. On. Um, 151. That's the road to the monastery out by uh, Echo Canyon. Um, Echo Amphitheater, sorry. But yeah, I can see the smoke. It was a small fire then. It'll be getting bigger. That sucks. I'm going to wipe my camera. That's flickery. Okay, that's all you get. Hey, Okay, I'm off trail, off the trail, and I'm heading to the lake. So I'm probably going to have to make two YouTube videos. It's a bumpy road. Um, yeah, you really got to watch it because you can blow right up past the, the lake. Or even the campgrounds. It's, they kind of sneak up on you. But I think once you see, start seeing house roofs, roofs up there, I think I'm relatively close. We'll see. Okay, I'm back. Okay, pretty much at the top of this hill here, um, the turn to the lake will be like right after it, right after the curve. We'll, we'll see. I got a phone signal right here, I don't know why. Either the wind's blowing pretty good at home, Steve. Boom, right there, turn. Sneaks up on you. It's really not marked. Well, the sign is back there, Santa Cruz Road. Okay, that's, well, here we go. Okay, it's a windy road in. So don't get too crazy. Because if you're crazy, remember there's somebody else there just as crazy. And you'll do a head on. Now, and that won't be any fun. I have drugged my camper down here not knowing. I think the first time, God, it had to have been 2016, I came down here with my camper. And then realized that the, the lower campgrounds are closed. And have been for many, many years. Because um, they don't have the 
funding or they don't care. Because where I'm camping is up high. So, yeah, I look down on the lake. Okay, that's what you get. Hey, yeah, uh, well, I don't see that every day. <laughs> There's a, a girl sunbathing on the trail, more or less. She had a little lawn chair all set up. And I mentioned to her that you don't, uh, women don't do that like they used to. You know, women used to sunbathe in my front yard, backyard, you know, wherever. Um, now, nowadays, you just don't see it. Anyway, I see there she is over there. I'm not going to zoom in on her. Sorry. That's all you get. Hey, uh, okay, I'm trying to catch a spot where it's not too windy. But right at the end of my stick, up there is my camera. And here comes the wind. I'm going to try to zoom in. Anyway, Slippy's right up there somewhere. I'll zoom in as far as I can go. Sorry about the wind. What's what's new, huh? Call me windy. Hey, yeah, yeah. You can take this trail almost all the way to the river. That cove over there. The river comes out over there. Um, but I want to go hike by the dam. So what I'm gonna do is head back to my van, then drive over that side and park and walk to the to the dam. Just because I can. Yeah, I give me three little hikes today. And this one's a little, little bit of a workout. It's not bad. But you know, I've done it so many times that though. I'm trying to get as many hikes as I can in one day, whether they be full hikes or not. Happy trails. Hey, uh, yeah, it's gonna be really windy. I'm at the other side of the lake. I'm at the dam. The dam, dam. Someday I gotta drive up from the bottom. Maybe later I'll do that. But right now I gotta go up there to the campsite. Have some lunch. I did have a piece of chicken. Um, I think I gotta add my cooler with me. No bread or any fixings, but food's food. Okay, happy trails. Sorry about the wind. Story of my life.